Hello, today I'm going to talk about the Mitra clip and tri clip G5 versus the G4 overview. Here are my disclosures. Both Mitra clip and tri clip G5 transcaptor edge to edge repair or tier systems have recently become available in North America and Europe. And we at Mount Sinai were fortunate enough to be one of the first sites in the world to use both systems in the limited market release and now has fully commercialized. There have been several significant enhancements and improvements made over the G4 system, including improved ease of use, safety, and efficiency. So this presentation will provide an overview of the G5 system and their enhancements over the G4 system. So let's go back to G4 system since this is still utilized in some parts of the world. So there's the steerable guide handle you see here. And you can see that there was a screw that actually has to be fastened and secure to prevent the guide from rotating freely. Next, we see that the clip delivery system also has a screw there that is mounted on the rail to secure in place. There's also another screw that actually is required to secure the DC fastener, especially when you try to rotate the clip or you try to advance or retract and you need that screw uh, to be able to fix the DC fastener to the CDS. Otherwise, if the screw is lost, you could have to control it manually. And also you need to flip the screw 180 degrees if you have to rotate the DC fastener by that much to orient the clip properly. So it's quite cumbersome to have to all these screws in place to be able to fixate and fasten the system. And of course, finally, you can imagine, uh, recall the lock line to unlock the clip, you have to unlatch, pull all the way back past the blue line and then relatch. And you never really know how much uh, the blue line needs to be exposed. And sometimes if you overstretch it, actually it might even damage the lock. So this can be uh, quite uh, inconsistent. Uh, you know, certainly we can do it very well, but there can be room for improvement. Now let's look at the G5 system. You see here is uh, much more ergonomic and I'll show you some of the features here. So first is that the new stabilizer design. So there are two parts of it. One is the ski boot type dock for the steerable guide catheter or the guide. And the clip delivery system also has a spring attachment to stabilize the rail here. And it matches the clip position to guide the tip uh, of the clip before exiting the guy. I'll show you how that works. The other thing that you see here is that no more screws. The ski boot type dock the stabilizer is, is very intuitive and actually locks in right away. So there's really no issue uh, to could uh, here in terms of ever having to unscrew and rescrew. The CDS also this spring loaded guy dock to the stabilizer rail and you can see there's no need to lift up the rail to advance or retract, you can just slide this back and forth to uh, advance the clip to the target. And then there's a built-in rotation of the DC fastener to orient, advance, or retract the clip. So you see, no more screws, this is completely built in, so you can freely rotate the DC fastener as much as you want, and you just have to uh, fasten and, and secure. And finally, you can see here, there's no lock lever and the blue line. This is a simple lock and lock nocturne. Uh, so again, makes it more consistent. I think in my mind, uh, it's also safer as well. So again, if you look at the SCC docking to the stabilizer, you can see step one, you put the guide right in the groove of the cradle, and then you have to fasten the screw to secure it. And so there are two steps involved. Now look at how we do this now with this one step where the ski put dock into the stabilizer and you're done. Just to show you this again, it's pretty simple here. Now remember how you actually uh, do this docking on the stabilizer. You have to see it on fluoroscopy how you straddle and then you kind of bring it down before you fasten it. And so you also don't really have feedback on when the clip is ready to exit the guy. So you have to constantly for, for use fluoroscopy to visualize how it looks and in under echo. But now you can see that with the spring loaded dock slide into the stabilizer, 
you actually can just advance with your left hand, we typically do that, and then you dock it into the rail, okay? And then you see this again. So you use your left hand to advance, and there's no fluoroscopy needed because you know that you're still within the tip of the guy. And then what you see is that on fluoroscopy, when you turn it on, it sits right at the tip of the guy, so you're very safe. You're not going to inadvertently exit the uh, clip out of the guy uh, and, and get uh, stuck in certain structures. So when you lock into that end of the rail. So how do you straddle? With G5, you can see that we actually just press that spring-loaded uh, latch and use a thumb. Uh, there's an X uh, plus sign here, and you just push on that, and you can see that it straddles very nicely. And let me just show this again. You can see the left hand advance. This just remains the latch. And you can see that it straddled very easily. Now, what about orienting the clip? So once you exit it and you steer down to the mitral analyst, you want to be able to do the, what I call jiggle jiggle to orient the clip in the RAO caudal view uh, so that you can see how it lines up without the parallax on the RAO view versus the mitral analyst so you can get your clip oriented relatively quickly. And you can see in G4, you have to go back and forth with, and you have to loosen up the screw. And if you have to go 180, you actually have to bring the screw all the way to the opposite side. And uh, I can tell you the couple of times I lost a screw and fell on the floor and then now I have to either find a replacement screw or if there's no replacement, I have to basically hold onto this the entire case. So it can be quite uh, cumbersome. But if you see now the uh, DC fastener is integrated and so you just basically clockwise to unfasten, you can do your jiggle jiggle and orient the clip and then you turn counter clock and fasten again and you're done. So then no more screws, it's much more ergonomic and much easier to do. Now, how about position the system? You can see that here, uh, the guide uh, rotate anterior and posterior guide torque. And one thing it really, uh, because there's no screw now, you can really make it like secure it whichever position that you left it in. So what it feels like is basically like a steering wheel. So you really can't over torque the guide, uh, if, you know, if, unless you do it manually. And also because of no screws, you really want to stop uh, rotating the guide. It stops right there. It actually, it remembers the position. So it's very uh, ergonomic and intuitive to use. Now, what about unlocking open the clips? You can see this is the G4 system, which is the first uh, de designed to allow independent grasping, independent dropping the grippers. But you can see that here, um, this is what we used to. And of course you have to uh, raise the lock line and with the past the blue line here but you never know really quite how much to do sometimes uh, when you raise it you actually might not be able to open the clip and then you have to relock and, uh, and, and unlock again so it can be quite cumbersome now with the g5 system it's actually very straightforward so the gripper uh, actually is the same mechanism but it's actually uh, done much more smoothly. And so I think it's actually safer and more effective in dropping and raising the grippers. And you can see this is how you lock and unlock. Very easy. You just turn the lock knob to the unlock position and you open uh, and you're done. So you can see the normal blue line. Well, very easy to be able to get yourself in the position uh, to check orientation and grippers right away. Now, how do you deploy the clip? Here you can see this is from the Abbott uh, manual showing that there are multiple steps required. So you need to remove uh, first the cap before you unravel the lock line, you remove the, the two red chili peppers, I call them in terms of the protection. Then you have to make sure there are no knots uh, on the line. You do a floss test and then you remove the lock line in the device direction. Now with the G5 system, it's much easier. So first I call it drama free. So the lock line is really easy now. You open the right release latch right here, and then you press the print release slider to remove the knock lock, disengage it. And then a single lock line, you just pull perpendicular to the device and you're done. Then you basically release the pin as you uh, typically would do. Uh, rather than removing, you can just unlatch it. And then you turn the arm positioner here until you have a hard stop. So before you kind of go, uh, you have to expose the groove and you see it here, uh, once you have uh, reach your hard stop, it's fully exposed. So there's no need to guess how far you're going. And then you do your eight turns and retract the eight trader knob. 
and then you have raised the grippers and disengaged the pin from the clip. Now, the one thing that I really like about the grippers now, it's much smoother. It's easier to raise them and drop them and very easy to release. And in fact, we noticed that the pin uh, has disengaged from the clip. It's much more easily done. So you don't have to be very nervous about, you know, uh, disengaging it and then uh, causing SLDA or, or hitting the, the mitral valve or the clip. So this is much more ergonomic now. So here's how it's done live. You can see that here, you undo the latch, okay? And then you can see that here, and you pull the lock line away. So that's it, you don't have to floss. There's not really not, not, nothing else that you need to do. So then after you do that, you can easily then Unlatch, so you did. You check the final arm angle again here to make sure the clip's not open. And once you go back to the neutral position, then we turn the fluoroscopy to an hourly projection without the parallax of the clip. So you able to actually make sure when you release the clip, the clip has not rotated. And of course this is under uh, echo as well. And so once you are in that fluoroscopic pos position, you can now actually then unlatch the pin and you can remove that. And you expose the groove and this time you can just do it on a hard stop. And then now do your eight turns. We do nine just for good luck. And then you can then release the pin actuator. And then you raise the grippers. Then you just retract the DC faster and deploy. And this is very easy. You can see you just undo the DC faster. And you slowly go back and you can see the pin release much easier than in my mind. Uh, compared to before. So in summary, I think what you see in the G5 system is that the number of improvements over the G4, first is the uh, guide attachment here, no more screws, you just basically uh, secure it like a ski boot. And then you can also have the guide torque basically uh, defaulted in its mem memory position. So you're not gonna be freely rotating and you don't need to hold it tight uh, because there are no screws anymore. The second point is the uh, spring-loaded latch that you can just mount it onto the rail here on the cradle for the CDS. And you can then, uh, when you're at this end particularly, you know that your clip is protected inside the guide tip uh, and it's about to exit and you can straddle it just by pushing this along the rail. You can in insert and, uh, and withdraw this way very easily. Number three is the DC fastener. You can see that here, you just basically unscrew and re-screw here uh, no more external screws to worry about, and you can then uh, orient the clip, uh, advance and retract for grasping. And finally, number four is the lock line. You can see that here there's no more uh, spring-loaded blue line. There's no two lock lines that you have to worry about. Uh, you just basically unlock, turn the latch, disengage the, the lock tap, and then you remove the lock line right away. So in summary, I think the Metro Clip and TriClip G5 tier system really represent a significant enhancement over G4 in terms of ease of use, safety, and efficiency. And on that note, I thank you very much for your attention to this presentation.